Hello, I'm Pot again. So right now we're going to talk about the basic animation in Adobe Director. You will see Adobe Director have a uh, timeline, or in Director we call score. Uh -huh. It's running based on frame, and you have current time indicator as the indicate the time the current time you have and if you go to window control panel you will see the frame per second fps the default in director is 30 frame per second and the mode loop is mean when you play until the last frame is going back to start playing the first frame again you can go only loop payback or not loop payback uh -huh. okay you can also click pay or enter on your keyboard uh -huh. what i like to point out is we call differently between enter and return um, the return button we refer to the um, the right button on the letter keypad so we call that is the return so we use that to input the parameter setting you know all the number or all the setting and then you press return and what about the button uh, on the lower right corner of your num numeric keypad so we call that enter even both of the same uh, both of them call the same on your keyboard uh -huh. okay so now what the enter button on the lower right corner of numeric keypad for you can use for toggle between play and stop so if you want to press pay and stop right the shortcut you can hit the enter on the lower right of numeric keypad or you can use for compile the code after you typing lingo code and then you want to compile so you press enter now let's start with the basic animation on the animation you can animate almost anything on the state in this particular case here I will import or I will try with the basic element like a shape like a circle right here okay so I draw the circle so when you draw the circle you will see the start frame and the end frame right it's default at 30 so you can do more than that or you can pick the color and change the color of your object you know okay so now the first step of animation right so let's move this a bit here so you will see um, right now when you create the object is already paste on the score as well as paste on cast member um, right now the current time indicator indicate the first frame and you will see the row icon it show up on the first frame as well so this is indicate the key frame so what you can do right you select already that first frame right and put where the location you want and then you move the current time indicator to the last frame and then you select the last frame only yes and then you move your object to somewhere you want as your destination you will see director automatic create the keyframe for the last frame and then if you hit enter on your keyboard or press pay on the keyboard you will see your object is moving from left to right and from frame 1 to frame 30 approximately um, it's going to use only one second for that uh -huh. because you set the frame rate 30 frames per second now I'm going to hit the stop key and then when you select back right 
be careful when you select this somehow if you select something like this you select the whole object you know from the keyframe one and the last keyframe from the first keyframe and the last keyframe and but if you select something like this uh -huh, you select only first keyframe so that's mean I can change or modify my first keyframe such as I can scale it smaller and then when I select the last keyframe just make sure you select only last keyframe not the whole thing and then I hold down my shift key and drag this bigger so and press enter so now you can see my object is getting bigger right so in case if I want to do this in two seconds so I paste the stop and then uh, I can select this object right now it start from frame 1 to frame 30 so now if I want two seconds it's landing as 30 frames per second so I change this number to 60 and press return okay press return the enter key on the letter keypad okay so now if you look at the score you will see the frame is start from frame 1 to frame 60 so this means the animation going to last approximately two seconds okay not approximately precisely okay let's try so now my object is landing in two seconds right okay what else you can do with that you can also uh, beside scaling you can also change the color for example right now the first frame is orange so if I like to change it to blue and then I want to change the last frame to from orange I like to change it to yellow and now rewind and play you can see what happened so the color is morphing from blue to yellow Uh -huh. okay what else you can do with that uh -huh. you can also change the opacity you you can do by select the first keyframe and then you can go to the ink copy right and change the ink brand from 100% to 0% and now rewind and play so you can see the color is fading right from the transparency to the opaque and now I like to point out one more thing when you look at this right you will see the dot right each dot is representing the frame so in this particular frame um, I'm going to change something a bit on here so I'm going to um, select the object on my timeline or on my score and then click right mouse and shooting twinning right so what you see right now each frame have a distance equally you know spread to out two second right so that's mean the frame and the amount of time is equal so the object tra traveling at the consistent speed in this time here what we're going to do right we're going to adjust something called ease in right so when you adjust ease in to 100% you're going to see it's really congested at the beginning and really spread out at the end so it's indicate the key the frame really tight at the beginning and spread out at the end so this mean it translate to when the object start moving is going to be very slow and then it's going to increase the speed to faster at the end okay let's try click ok so now you can see that at the beginning the distance between each frame is very really small 
and then at the end you will see more right so if I select Levi and now I pray so now you can see my object is start slowly at the beginning and moving faster toward the end right so you can try something opposite so go back to twinning again and then change the is out right so the is in automatically drop to zero percent so now rewind and pay so you can see the object is going really fast at the beginning and toward the end it's going slow all right so now if i like to adjust the time i can press stop and right now the time is 60 frame right i can change it back to 30 frame and press return so now it's come back to the 30 frame so instead of two seconds so now it's go only one second and then you might want to add something else for example uh, like at the beginning you might want to add at the frame 15 you want to add additional keyframe so you go to right mouse click right mouse and then insert keyframe so you will have additional keyframe on that and when you got that additional keyframe you can move your object you know, or alter your objects down so now you can rewind and play right with additional keyframe you can see your subject is moving and then uh, from left to right but in this time here on frame 15 right is going down to the floor and then is going up back to the same location okay let's press stop and then you can add another keyframe for example like um, you can add another keyframe on frame 5 and insert keyframe and then I move this frame up and then rewind and then I pray so now you can see my object is going up and down right so that is how the keyframe work